Hello, everyone, and welcome to day number 13, right? Hold on. I'm going to check. Uh, no, we are day number 14. I'm sorry. I'm so bad at counting. This is Sippy Livne, nurse and certified food addiction counselor, and welcome to the 30 Days 30 Tips Challenge, and we today are on day number 14. And if I still kind of messed up the counting, you'll get it in the written one where I have all my notes and I learn everything. I know all the numbers off by heart. But what you can definitely count on is me being here every day to give you a good practical tip, whether it's to change how you think about if you're considering quitting sugar or severely limiting the amount of sugar that you eat for whatever reason, if it's weight loss, if it's to reverse diabetes or pre-diabetes, it's because of other metabolic health issues, if it's because you just feel like these sweet, starchy, hyper-processed foods control your life instead of you having control over them, well, then you may want to quit sugar. You may want to do it temporarily. You may want to do it really as a lifestyle change. We talk about that as well. But today, I want to give you a very practical and important tip if you want to live sugar-free, be it temporarily or as a lifestyle change. And that is, yesterday, we talked about the fact that the environment that we live in today is really not conducive to healthy eating, just the other way around. It really works against healthy eating. That is why whenever you go anywhere where, that you're traveling a long time or you are not sure, you don't control, the food that's going to be served there, I highly, highly recommend that you take some food with you just in case things don't work out the way you expected them to and then you have good, nutritious, sugar-free food available to you. This is really, really, really important. I can't tell you how many times this has saved my butt, okay? Because you go to the doctor and you figure you're only going to be an hour and then you get stuck there for two hours waiting in line because the doctor had some emergency and a hospital is one of the hardest places to find healthy food, certainly here in Israel. Or you went to this like brunch and you know, you were sure that there was going to be some healthy choices there and you find out that all that's there is like salad, is sandwiches and cakes and just junk and there's really nothing there for you to eat. This happens so much or you were on your way home and you got a flat tire and all of a sudden you know you thought you were gonna get home in time for lunch and you get home an hour and a half later so you know we all it's like you say life happens so because life happens I always anytime that I go anywhere even when I go let's say to a conference and I know that they're gonna serve a hot lunch there I do not assume it's gonna be okay I always make sure to take like a can of tuna. Today you can buy those tunas in like a, in like a packet, right? So it's even lighter. And I wrap a, a little fork around it. I bring some cut vegetables, a fruit, whatever it is. I'll always, a, a bag of, of natural nuts I'll put into my bag. That's like the best energy bar, right? It's like a handful of nuts is so much better because an energy bar, let's face it, it's just a cookie, right? It's <laughs> like dressed up as something healthy. So... What I always make sure is I have some food in my bag. And I say it like this, worst comes to worst, I threw it in the garbage, but I didn't eat garbage. So that's the whole point, right? I didn't eat junk and I didn't put garbage into my body. I would much prefer to throw something out because I brought it with me and in the end didn't need it. May I have the, then that I didn't take something and I ended up needing it and I didn't have what to do. And then, you know, go like solve the problem. So that's why I really, really make a habit out of bringing food with me when I'm going traveling, when I leave the house, when I have the slightest doubt about what's going to be, you know, it, how I'm going to make sure that my next meal or the next time I need to eat is, is going to have nutritious, good food in it that has no sugar and flour. That's my tip for you you really want to live sugar-free and here's the other thing also like mentally it means that no matter what happens I know I'm all set 
So then it frees up my brain. It frees up my thinking power to really like live my life and do whatever it is I set out to do at that time. And I don't have to start like thinking, oh, is it, are they going to have their things that I can eat? They're not going to have their things that I can eat. Even if I know that they probably will, I assume they will. But worse comes to worse. I have my emergency rations in my bag. I know I'm all set. That frees up your brain, frees your mind to really live sugar-free in a happy and wonderful way. So that's my tip for you today. Anytime you leave the house for really, and you're not exactly sure, make sure you have those emergency rations in your bag. I will see you tomorrow. And if you like this, please like it. And thank you, Yana, for being here with me. Please like it, share it, share the love. And uh, don't forget to sign up to my newsletter. The link is in the bio or in the description of this video. Have a wonderful day because if you sign up for the newsletter, you're going to get lots of bonus stuff and the 30 days, 30 tips package when I'm done with this in another 16 days. So bye-bye and I'll see you again tomorrow for tip number 15.